The purpose of life is to be helpful, not happy. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Western church. Allow me to be a little bit philosophical here, okay? If you have ever said life has no meaning, then you haven't found your life purpose. You must be thinking of a meaning as a thing rather than an experience. You don't bring purpose to your life, no, but you bring meaning to your life. It is same for happiness. The more you chase it, the less happy you will feel. Happiness is more of a state of mind than an emotion. The wrong idea you have of happiness distract you from more meaningful aspect of life. You know, the bigger obsession you have of being happy, the less you appreciate what you already have. The journey here is more important than the destination. <laughs> being helpful bring purpose to life. We rise by lifting others. Robert Ingersoll said, let me share with you this secret. Discovering meaning in your life is the purpose of your life itself. One of the recurring issues I witnessed since getting into helping people make changes in their life is that people approach purpose through an individualistic lens. They think meaning is about them. But the challenge is to rewire people's mind. The purpose is not about them, but the purpose is about their relationship with other people. The American philosopher and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson was right when he said, the purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate. To have a purpose is that you live and live well. Aristotle wrote that finding happiness and fulfillment is achieved by loving rather than being loved. Relationship with others are a central feature of a positive, well-lived life. A meaningful life and a happy life often go hand in hand, but it's not always. That is the insight behind a paper published by Roy Bormester in the Journal of Positive Psychology. The findings suggest that meaning separate from happiness is not connected with whether one is healthy, has enough money, or feel comfortable in life. While happiness separate from meaning is satisfying your wants and need might bring you happiness but doesn't add meaning to your life. Happiness is about the present. And meaningfulness is more holistic. It brings the past, the present, and the future together. And the research pointed one factor that is essential to finding meaning is developing high quality relationship. Happiness is linked to being a taker rather than a giver. And meaningfulness is derived from giving to others. Life is a give and take. And among the people that you know, trust me, there are two class of people. Those who do little things for others and make a big noise about it. And those who do great things to others but make no noise at all. And according to Adam Grant book, Give and Take, your style defines whether you learn at the top or at the bottom of the success ladder. And according to the book, there are three different styles of people, takers, givers, and matchers. And what is your style? Let's find out, shall we? So taker, who is a taker? Taker are fixated on always getting more than what they give. 
They believe that the world is a competitive dog eat dog place. They want to succeed at any cost, and giving make them weak. They can feel the need to self-promote as they are in constant competition with others. What is in here for me? They ask. What I am getting out of this? Why should I care? Their actions are always driven by self-serving question. They look out for themselves. And this behavior makes takers calculating, cautious, and self-protective. I don't think that you are takers, otherwise you won't watch this video, right? So if you have not subscribed, subscribe, please. So next one is matches. Matches believe in exchange. They approach relationship with a sense of fairness and equality. If they do someone a favor, they expect something in return. And similarly, they feel indebted to you if you did them a favor. If you take from me, I will take from you. If you give me, I will give it to you. Matcha are driven by balance. They are always tracking how much they give and how much they receive. You can be matcha but only you know that. Then we have the givers. I hope that you are a giver truly, but let's find out. Givers are others focus. Their behavior is driven by generosity, not a speculation. They seek to enrich lives of people they come across. How can I add value for this person? What can I contribute? Givers are driven by meaning. They aspire to be generous in sharing their times, knowledge, ideas, and connection with other people. The insight behind this model is simple. Be kind and helpful to others. Giving too much or to the wrong person can harm you. Balancing the act of giving is important. It will protect you from being taken advantage of. Giving brings meaning to your life by developing a stronger relationship with other people. Giver create win-win situation and help other people succeed. Life is a continuum where all your acts are under win. You design your karma. You get based on what you give. Thank you. Who are you? Are you a giver? Are you a taker? Or are you a matcher? Please share with, with us in this comment below, in the comment box below. And if so, tell us why you feel you are this or you are that. That would be appreciated. Thank you again for watching. And I'm looking forward to bring you a great video next time. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do it now. And if you find this video useful, why not just press the like button and share with other people. That's going to help me too. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs> and God bless you. Always.